today we're going to taste test these moon goddess hot sauces I'm gonna start with the creamy jalapeno sauce i love the labels on these the ingredients on this are vinegar jalapeno peppers vegetable oil sugar salt olive oil lunar spice blend ooh, and sodium benzoate so this one is four out of ten on the heat scale so pretty mild and it says it's a magical elixir of fresh jalapeno peppers paired with our mystical lunar spice blend Ooh, i wonder what's in that the result is an addictive concoction of luscious enchantment that is sure to dance on your tongue for days. That's a lot of adjectives and I'm really excited about this. So um, yeah, let's, let's dig into this. I just love the labels. Ooh, no stopper. No stopper on these. It's definitely creamy. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of this actually. It tastes, so the, there is vegetable oil in here and it tastes a little, um, a little mayonnaise-y and usually I'd like that, but I don't know, maybe it needs to be cold. Maybe that would make it better. Um, but I'm not sure I like that, that kind of oily flavor on this sauce. And the, the heat is very low but I'm just not sure about that creamy mouth feel, if you will. Yeah, I think it's pretty heavy on that vegetable oil, honestly. Um, everything else about it is nice. The, the texture is smooth, the consistency is nice. Um, the flavor is, is pretty, is pretty um, mild, like very mild, in fact. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I think the vegetable oil is just a little too um, forward for me in this one. It also has, let's see, it has, well, it has vegetable oil and olive oil and the lunar spice blend. Not sure what's in that. The jalapeno peppers. I wish I had a little more spice and a little more tang and a little less um, kind of creamy, creamy, creaminess, oil, oily flavor. So, um, I would give this maybe a five out of ten. I'm not. I'm not a huge fan of it, unfortunately. But um, yeah, let's try the next. And one. next up, we're gonna try the triple X habanero sauce. Ingredients are aged habanero peppers, aged cayenne peppers, vinegar, garlic, onion, curry, salt, and mustard. So this one is eight out of ten on heat. So definitely spicier. It says. A carefully crafted fiery omen of tantalizing aged habanero and cayenne peppers blended in a cauldron ooh, with the finest of spices and the result is a diabolical potion that you won't soon forget. All right, let's give this a try. This might be plugged up a little. All right. This is a little thicker. Mm. That one's really nice. I like that a lot. The, the spice on this is definitely there. I'd say it's medium, medium hot if you're, if you're not used to a lot of spice. Um, it's really nice. I like the, it's kind of like a, um, it has the aged peppers in it, and so to me, it tastes it's like a it's like a fine bottle of wine. Um, it tastes nice and um, kind of savory in that with that aged um, flavor that you know builds over time. Um, I also like the fact that there's the combination of the cayenne peppers and the habanero peppers. It's almost like a creamy or like a thicker Tabasco with that cayenne pepper flavor mixed with. Um, habanero pe pepper sauce so it's got a good um those two peppers to me work really well with the sauce um there's not a lot of 
extra flavor going on here. There's, I mean, I don't know what's in the Lunar Spice, but the Lunar Spice works pretty well with this. Um, I'm thinking maybe like papri smoked paprika or, or something. I'm getting something a little smoky and I don't know if it's the special spice, special spice blend, special spice blend, or if it's um, the, you know, the aged peppers, but it's, it's really enjoyable. I like it a lot. Um, I like this one a lot more than the, than the green one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's nicely balanced. There's some tang, some tang there, but the initial flavor is, is pretty warm heat from those peppers. So all in all, I really, really like this one. Um, I would give this one like an 8.5 or a 9 out of 10. And this, this poor one is like a 5 out of 10, which never happens. Like I've never had such a widespread, um, in, with companies, but I'm intrigued to see what else they offer. And um, yeah, really enjoy this one. Maybe if they have a different sort of um, green sauce or mild sauce, I, I'd be down to try it. But um, this one just wasn't wasn't working for me. Um, but the Triple X Habanero definitely recommends. So Moon Goddess, check them out. I need to take this wig off. It's <laughs> eating hot sauce in a wig was probably a bad idea. At least it's cold outside. All right. Thanks for joining everybody. See you next time. <laughs> okay. So there is actually a third sauce that I forgot about when doing this taste test and I apologize, but we have a creamy chipotle hot sauce here also from moon goddess. Um, and the ingredients on this one are vinegar, tomato paste, chipotle peppers, cayenne peppers, vegetable oil, salt, sugar, olive oil, that lunar spice blend, and then sodium benzoate. So I'm just gonna taste it here now and let you know my thoughts. Um, the label also says, finally, a hot sauce that is enchanting and as captivating as the lunar deities themselves. A dazzling melting pot of smoky chipotle peppers, blazing cayenne peppers, and a touch of our secret lunar spice blend. The result is a bold, lush array of mouth-watering sorcery. Wow. So the heat on this is five out of 10. Um, and so I'm gonna put some here in my spoon and then give it a taste. So just looking at the sauce, it's very thick in consistency. It almost doesn't even come out of the bottle. So let's, let's give it a try. Hmm. So I can definitely taste that chipotle flavor and that I almost, um, yeah, the tomato paste is very apparent too. It's, it's very tomato-y and um, smoky. It almost tastes like a very thick, um, kind of strongly tasting chipotle aioli, in my opinion. It does have that vegetable oil and olive oil, which gives it kind of that oily consistency, similar to like a, a flavored mayonnaise. So that's my initial thought. Um, I really do enjoy it. I'm not getting that. I'm not getting the, the mayonnaise-y um, taste that I did in the green sauce. This one is more subtle, but um, the sauce itself is very flavorful. And I do like the, the combination here with the, um, the tomato paste, the cayenne and the, the uh, chipotle peppers. So all in all, I really, I do enjoy this one. I don't think I like it as much as the other red sauce, um, but I do like it better than the green sauce. So I'm probably gonna go with a seven out of 10 for this one. I would say it would be a really good replacement for a chipotle aioli. Um, and it would be good, you know, on a burger or a sandwich or anything like that. So yeah, thanks for watching. And now thanks for listening <laughs> until next time. Bye-bye.